Can you talk about credit scores and more specifically why that perfect 850 number is essentially useless? Now, personally, I've been bouncing around anywhere from 780 to 810. I even got an email reminding me the other day that I'm back over 800, but I've seen so many people get this wrong. See, I've seen so many people talk about having a perfect 800 credit score and as if it changes anything, but realistically, it's not gonna change much. Graham Stephan even made a video talking about how he currently has an 847, and I feel like so many times a lot of people get this where they need to have a super high credit score, and realistically, newsflash, you only need something like a 760, and relatively 99% of all options are open to you. Realistically, you only need like a 760 to a 780, and anything beyond that is just a complete diminishing returns where essentially, getting an 800, getting an 820 doesn't really change anything. See, credit scores, as you know, range anywhere from a 300, which is really bad, to an 850, which is essentially perfection. But once you hit anywhere in the upper 700s, you're essentially in the perfection or the top tier for most lenders. Now, don't get me wrong, there's definitely benefits with having a higher credit score. These include lower interest rates, actually getting approved for the loan, having a higher credit limit, and there's plenty more options. But here's the catch. See, going from something like a 760 or 780 to an 850 doesn't really change much. You're already seen as excellent in the eyes for most lenders. Now, I'm sure you've seen one of these percentage breakdowns that actually show you how to get a good credit score, but all of these can be simplified by just being a good person that the banks want to lend to. Or in other words, what is your financial trustworthiness with the bank and if they want to give you money? See, it takes a lot of effort and time to get a perfect credit score. So are those actually worth it to you? Now, personally, I believe instead of aiming for the 800s, you should aim for something like a 740 to a 780. These are honestly more realistic and more attainable for most people. Doing this gives you an actual smart goal, something that you can actually reach, where all the other time and effort can actually be wasted on better financial goals. Now, the easy answer for getting a good credit score is actually just building it up over time, but the most important thing is to pay your bills on time. Realistically, a lot of people allow their monthly options or credit cards to go month to month while they're paying the interest and banks don't like seeing that essentially what you need to do is keep your credit limit high and keep the overall utilization low because what this does is it shows that you're using credit as an option so it's more of a tool remember the overall goal is essentially showing you're financially ready for anyone to give you new money so in the event a few years down the road the bank sees your overall track history and they you know they're willing to trust you now i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people that have issues with me saying that you don't need to have a perfect credit score but realistically, being someone that has in the 800s, nothing's changed for me. I was still able to get a loan at 740 that at the same time I'm able to get it, you know, an 810. So at the end of the day, as long as you're financially responsible, things work.